Welcome to GTI Predictive Technology. My name is Tom Honig. I'm going to be going over all of the iPad predictive products that we have for 2015. Um, just to get into a little bit of history of where this all came from. Back in 2011, we were uh, given two awards, one by Sensor Magazine and also by uh, Plant Engineering, a product of the year of the first uh, iPad vibration analyzer where we took an accelerometer, wrote an application for full spectrum analysis on the iPad platform. Well, this has evolved quite a bit from, from, from that date. In 2013, uh, because of uh, customer demand, it was very clear to us that they, uh, the public wanted uh, full route and trendability and all the different uh, assets that are part of a modern data collector today. And uh, as you can see in Vipro in this video, we're going to show you all those different tools. But between 2013 and 2015, we added a lot of the modern predictive tools that are necessary to run a full predictive program. And those are thermography, ultrasound, shaft laser alignment, machine alignment devices. And I'm going to go through step by step and show you all of these different tools in this video. But to start, this is our iPad analyzer. It's a simple iPad in a very industrialized case, which we do have an intrinsic model available as well. Our standard model is this uh, water resistant and shockproof model you see in my hands right now. Um, and originally in 2013, starting out with Vipro, um, it was a very good data collector and trend, trending device. But like any other analyzer on the market, we were plagued with being tethered to a cable. Um, we have a single channel one, which is still available today. Uh, and we do still sell. And we have a three channel, which can run a tachometer and uh, two accelerometers for two phase balancing and, and other things. Pretty standard to what you see in many other analyzers. But we felt um, this year, uh, we worked very, very hard to come out with what is the market's first two-channel wireless accelerometer with no sacrifice of the specifications of a cabled accelerometer. We still are using a piezo crystal uh, accelerometer inside here. Uh, the data acquisition is all done automatically and it streams wirelessly in real time to the iPad. And you'll notice this one uh, compared to this one here uh, has a little sensor dangling from it or attached to it, I should say. Um, and that is our new non-contact temperature gauge running on channel two, because remember this is a two channel device. Being two channels, we can use the second channel for this device I have on here, which non-contact points to anything I put this accelerometer on to not only trend my vibration, but to trend my temperature at the same exact time and go into our Vipro uh, software. Whereas this accelerometer or that accelerometer can use the second channel to attach to Monarch's um, tachometer, which that allows us to do uh, phase analysis. We have an application called Phase Pro, which I'll be discussing in the second part of this video, that Phase Pro can actually do automatic diagnostics of cock bearings, bent shafts, imbalance, misalignment, uh, all by being able to use the second channel and put the accelerometer in one spot and be able to get the relation of phase between there. But what also uh, is helpful by using the tachometer on channel two on the wireless is now we can wirelessly balance any industrial device, fans, pumps, motors, spindles, anything that would require field balancing and be used for either in-house balancing of, of repair items can be all done wirelessly. And we know when we get close to some of these heavy industrial equipment, it's much nicer to be able to step, you know, uh, up to 200 feet away in this case and be able to take a reading and make measurement, uh, me take measurements and make adjustments. Um, channel two can also be used for a second accelerometer for phase or to be able to take two readings at one time and run them simultaneously. Because remember, all this accelerometer runs our spectrums completely live so we can look at them in real time, not just a snapshot. So that is uh, for 2015, our new wireless accelerometer. Now, second in the lineup here is our uh, machine leveling device. And this does all geometric 
um, measurements. And you'll see behind me on the wall, I'm going to hit up on a, a few things. We can do shaft alignment. We can do vertical machining spindle alignment and horizontal spindle alignment. We can do flatness and, and look at the flatness of a, of a table or inspection uh, surface and those types of things. And leveling is another important thing that we can do. And all of these apps work on this device and are able to email the reports right directly from the floor. And again, I want to add that this is also a wireless Bluetooth device as well as our accelerometer. So again, we have no cables to interfere. So maintenance people can be bringing their iPad down to the leveling adjustment and actually looking at that reading live, as you can see behind me, and make those leveling adjustments without having a second person uh, running the actual instrument. So um, all of these different apps that are flashing on the side here will describe all the different attributes of what this can be used for. And the hardware comes with a flat magnetic surface, which is underneath these round magnetic surfaces here, which allow me to put this on any round surface uh, and have it stick to it so that we can do shaft geometry uh, measurements as well. So the fixturing is very, very useful as well. And that is our geometric leveling system. The next thing we wanted to uh, demonstrate is we now have thermography. So now somebody doing a route for vibration analysis can simply uh, insert and clip on our thermography camera and be able to take these beautiful images that you see behind me uh, of anything that might be a loose connection in an electric box or a motor on the ceiling that we can't measure temperature of, we're able to simply do from the iPad. Now to mention uh, this little device is not only a handy add-on, but any of the data that it collects, whether it's a still photo or even a video of thermography, all that data can be imported directly into Vibepro to make this one seamless working system. So now, moving on to ultrasonic. We're able to take ultrasound measurements within the plant. Well, what does this do for us? It's a, it's, this is not a wireless sensor in our lineup, but it is uh, tethered to the iPad and has its own application uh, to work seamlessly with the vibration thermography and everything we've built. And what ultrasound is most useful for in the plant and in the predictive programs is now we can do all sorts of leak detection throughout the plant, whether it be compressed air lines or vacuum uh, and any leak of any type ultrasound picks up very well. And that app also works seamlessly with Vipro with its data. Also can be used for grease and lubrication programs. So knowing when to grease and not to over lubricate motors during a lubrication session now we also have that on one platform. So this concludes, uh, other than I just want to briefly show you, we, we do have demonstration motors. This is the GTI 101. This uh, enables us to be able to send to our customers for uh, vibration analysis training, but not only that can be, doing, can be done uh, to practice balancing in either single plane or dual plane mode. We've got these nice aluminum wheels, which are all threaded with 1032 screws so that you can practice doing balancing, uh, coupled in balance, phase and balance, all those different things. And it's variable speed all the way up to 10,000 RPM. So simulation with the ultrasound where we have brushes on one side and not the other, we can actually mimic a dry bearing and do all kinds of different testing with that. Uh, so that is another add on. Now, another thing to mention, we've got a Pelican case. Now, normally, if you look behind me, all these different instruments that, that uh, today's competitors have all have their own crates and boxes for balancer, uh, laser shaft alignment, um, which actually I want to show you as well here. Our laser shaft alignment is also wireless and works seamlessly with the iPad. So if you start adding all of these instruments up from laser shaft alignment, wireless vibration analysis, ultrasound, balancing, thermography, all these different uh, toolkits for the predictive maintenance programs would all be in separate cases and separate devices that people would have to carry into the plant, will now all seamlessly fit into this Pelican case with one platform, one iPad, running all the different tool sets. Now, the second part of this video, I'm going to be getting into uh, Vipro, which has gotten a, a complete facelift, and we've added all kinds of nice tools and uh, uh, new settings 
uh, for the, the new Vipro, which is the heart and soul of this whole program. Okay, welcome to the second part of our video, uh, which is the software and the facelift of Vipro. Um, people that have uh, not used Vipro before, we launched that in 2013. As you can see behind me, this is the new look, but uh, many of the features and controls are the same. And uh, in this first picture you can see behind me, we moved the uh, Spectrum, a small version block of the Spectrum to the main page, so to enable the the user to be able to move cursors in. And if you notice below, we have a new bearing selector so that you can select your bearing, not only by model, but by size of that bearing to get your bearing defects. And those markers can be placed up into the screen um, before launching into the main screen, which is our uh, spectrum here, as you can see. So as you run your spectrum, um, what we've also done is built in a, a new report manager so that when you click on the report button and you get your report, you're going to see two spectrums, one in velocity, one in acceleration. You're going to see your map. You're also going to have your um, photo of your data point. And this is what we call our single measurement mode. And what this enables us to do is we can email or save this report right from the device. So you could be on the floor taking a measurement or being in your route and see something that is uh, of immediate importance and email that to a superior right from the floor, saving time and downtime by getting that information to the people that need it as quickly as possible. But as we move through, uh, you can see, if I go back to my main panel here, we have three different sections. You've got your single measurement mode that we were just in, you have your route mode and your viewer. So if I go to route mode here, you can see it's very simple, opens up the route. And if I click into edit the route, you'll see I can put all my bearing numbers, my RPM, everything I'm gonna save in that route can be built right from the iPad. And not only can we build the route from the iPad, we can duplicate from the iPad by duplicating additional machines that are all of the same type. So if we've got 50 pumps in a row, we don't have to set up each document or, or each asset point separately, even when we know they're all the same device. We can basically copy 50 of those and put them into our hierarchy very quickly. So it's one of the fastest route builders that we've built uh, yet to date. So once our route is built, um, you can uh, just hit the save and back button and you'll see that goes right to the hierarchy within the system of what machine and asset point that you've built of that hierarchy tree. Now, you'll also notice going back to the main screen here, we have the viewer and that viewer does these nice trend plots, tells us uh, you know, which points may have crossed thresholds of, of warning and alert thresholds, which to mention that all those thresholds, when we build them in the edit part of the route, those are all customizable to each asset point. You can either default to ISO and just simply let them default to ISO, but you can also, if you have um, certain critical uh, machines or asset points that are not on the ISO chart or special circumstances, you can set those thresholds to wherever you want. So when things are alerted in the viewer, uh, they're done by your customized uh, thresholds. Now, what I also want to mention before I go on to any other apps, that this is all viewable also by our desktop software. Okay, and that can either be web-based or completely uh, within your plant running on your server. Uh, we have a web viewer or a, a desktop viewer that I'm showing behind here that can show you all the same trends that you're looking at that you recognize from the viewer I just showed you on the iPad, but also be able to do complete plant reports like this that show you how many of your assets are in green, how many are in red, how many are in yellow, and be able to drill down on those to find out are they imbalanced, are they misaligned, or what is the condition? Because the spectrum view, as you can see here, you can put up your bearing markers, you can put up RPM markers for looseness and multiples and all the different tools that are part of Vibration 101. So uh, again, that desktop viewer from the iPad, all that data from a route, a daily route, could be exported at one time and goes directly to the viewer so that one analyst can manage many plants because they can do this real time. The data goes up to the cloud and it goes directly uh, to the desktop viewer. Now, if somebody not, uh, did not want to use the cloud, they can also use a 
what we call a nailed down version of this that works just internal to the plant, but then you have to divert to the old school of, as I'm showing you behind, you've got to plug your analyzer into your PC and download your data that way. But we do cover both flavors, so uh, it can be done either way. Now, just to go into some of the other apps that we've built for 2015. Vibe RMS here behind me is a brand new app that you're able to build uh, your own machines, take a photo of a machine, put those data points in place, and actually have a machine certification of that exact machine with the points listed on there. Or you can drag and drop all these familiar datas of like a pump and a motor, a motor and fan, or, or, or all different illustrations that I've got behind me uh, that you, you can uh, use as your own templates and drag those in and, and out and, and build your own machine hierarchy if you wish. And that's Vibe RMS. Now the next one I'd like to show you is FacePro. FacePro is a, a very nice diagnostic app. It works with our tachometer, both wired version and wireless. So it works with the tachometer and accelerometer, and it allows you and tells you exactly where to put the probe. And what this does is take somebody who doesn't know much at all about vibration analysis, can follow these simple prompts, put the accelerometer where it is, and hit the little stethoscope button here in the corner of the app, and it will tell him the diagnostic of what might be wrong with that rotating equipment. And this is done by not putting or building a machine on a PC beforehand. You simply follow the prompts on this diagram, put the accelerometer where it will, and hit the stethoscope button, and it will tell you, uh, I might have a cock shaft or a, a cock bearing or a bent shaft, misalignment. We've loaded it with all kinds of different uh, diagnostic features that can help you find out what's wrong with something on the factory floor. And I don't want to leave out Balance Pro and iRotor Balancer. Both two great balancing apps, one made for shop balancing, the other one made for on-site balancing. Uh, as you can see behind, I can uh, simply take our wireless accelerometer and tachometer, put it on something I want to balance in either two-plane or single-plane mode, and I'm able to balance that right down to the point of where I can select what material I need to drill into and put that drill size in and it will tell me based on steel aluminum or whatever how deep I have to drill that hole to balance that program. The, we've uh, gotten accolades of awards from our customers on how easy our balancing systems are uh, for people to balance assets out in the field. So this is, uh, of course, broad strokes, glossary view. We have videos on the web that cover uh, many of these apps I've discussed in great detail. And uh, not to leave out, we have transmissibility uh, app as well and a few others that I didn't get into today. But to keep this video short, please visit us on the web and view uh, on our YouTube channel all these tutorials on each and every app that I've mentioned here today. This is just a beautiful program, one platform for all your thermography, ultrasound, vibration analysis, alignment, laser shaft alignment needs, all on one platform. And there's a software to fit any need of any customer in any industrial predictive situation. Our, our customers uh, that have bought this system so far are just delighted with it. And we invite you to visit us on the web at www.gtipredictive.com and view all these tools in detail. And if you have any questions at all, please contact us at 603-669 5993 and we can do a full Skype demo for you. Have a good day.